This being a clean slate build from this from scratch, this has no automotive um, application presently. It was built for aircraft only. It is a 3.2 liter V6. They really are looking to hold this to a higher standard and we accept that. If we can't do that, then why do it at all? Today on the Plane Crazy Channel, we turn our attention to a brand new engine that's about to hit the aviation market. Yeah, baby! November 557 Lima comes to life. I heard about a project that's going on here at the Caldwell Airport. And this project really got my attention because Caldwell Airport has become the hub of what is going to be a brand new engine that's going to be coming out of the market and they're racing to get it ready to go to Oshkosh right now. And this is called the Adept engine, 360 horsepower. It's about one pound of engine per every horsepower that the engine manufactures in power. And this is going to be brand new technology that they're going to be firing up. And it's exactly what the general aviation market needs because, as you know, these engines are getting big and they're getting heavy if you want to produce horsepower, but this is the opposite. It produces a lot of horsepower and it saves a tremendous amount of weight. So let's get right into what is this ADEPT engine. Airplanes have moved forward in technology tremendously. Uh, we've got modern uh, composite airframes, we've got avionics which uh, speak nicely to to the pilots but engine technology specifically in this horsepower category has stagnated for many years if you look at your automotive experience the ability to uh, start an engine even when it's hot uh, as an example is something which is just normal when it comes to automotive applications uh, and yet in the aviation industry that's that's a challenge so this has been designed from scratch utilizing modern engine technology. It's time for the aviation industry to move forward to use modern technology in engines. Been, yeah, it's been flying in South Africa. There's an airplane called the Raven, which is a carbon fiber knockoff of the uh, Comanche. And the performance was actually very good with it. They put about 300 hours on one of those engines and then we pulled it out, had it torn down. Uh, gave it to a third party. They do predictive analytics, look at the wear and stuff like that, and they told us that in their mind the engine should be close to a 3,000 hour TBO, which would significantly exceed what the uh, current competitive products uh, can offer. At cruise, 4,500 RPM, with the propeller turning 27, that's to me, I run that through my brain and I just see torque. Yeah, a yeah. A lot of torque coming out of this engine. And that is a major advantage of the gearbox is you get this multiplication of torque. Um, so it's an extremely torquey engine. It's, yeah, that's its... Uh, so it's going to be very responsive. When you add power, it's going to be very responsive. It is, it is. And it's got a very modern turbocharger. Uh, so the turbocharger has got an integrated controller, one is able to get great responsiveness on acceleration in a go-around situation. This geared reduction unit was designed as part of the engine from day one. It is designed into the engine block, so you start with a very rigid foundation, which is very helpful for longevity. Uh, the nice thing about ours is we got a couple patents on it, um, but you don't require a separate maintenance schedule on our gearbox. It will go the TBO of the engine. When you change oil, that's everything you need to take care of. Two things in particular that people seem to get hung up on. One is liquid cooling versus air cooling, because there's a concern if you lose your liquid cooling, your, your engine's gonna quit running. In our case, 
And we've done the test. We've actually flown the Raven uh, where we drained all the radiator fluid out of the engine. The oil cooling is so effective that if you can pull the power back to 50%, you can keep flying the engine indefinitely because there's sufficient cooling through the oil to get you to where you're going. I see no fins. Yep. <laughs> no kind of fins for, for air cooling. Correct. This, this Correct. is not going to be dependent on airflow to cool it down. Yeah, so the engine has got a electric water pump, which is ECU controlled, and that allows it to speed up or slow down, dependent on the measured temperature within the system. Okay. So it provides a very stable base of cooling. Um, it always targets your optimum operating range for efficiency. The good news is this will, was designed to run on auto gas, but it can use avgas, it can use ethanol and methanol blends, you can mix and match as you go. So it, it makes your fuel selection a very easy process. We're moving it about four inches further forward uh, to achieve the correct center of gravity on the plane. Okay. Uh, the advantage of that is you get more of that turbine look when yeah. it comes to your cow. Yeah, I love and uh, yeah, we've, we've capitalized on that and given it a turbine style inlet duct. So there's a lot of changes that we've made to the scoop to feed the um, radiator. And then we uh, put a, an inlet in here, which will get detailed and finished up for the oil cooler. Are you excited about this project? Oh yeah, that's just something that's cool. I love doing unique, one-of-a-kind things, and it's with composites and a really fast airplane. And it's like, what else? What else is there to do? <laughs> but Josh has been smiling so much yeah. that he's got. I love this. This is great. <laughs> he's got great yeah, access. In the Yamaha's we try and like we try and almost touch the firewall by a quarter inch. This is a dream. Look at all that stuff in there. We can just keep putting more stuff yeah. in there. <laughs> I would say we've all been looking for something better for many, many decades. And I, if you're not going to be a customer, give us a chance to be successful. Um, I, I think if we can get these on a handful of airframes and prove that this engine is doing what we're saying it's, it's capable of doing, that we're going to get a lot of converts. So the proof is in the pudding. We understand that. I'm really flattered to be able to work on this project um, because everybody's competent. They know what they're doing. On this airplane, if the specs come out to be what it is, uh, what everything's expected to be, things are gonna be incredible. So let's talk about another engine that has many of the same features that the Adept engine has. And that is, of course, the Rotex. It's small, it's lightweight, it turns high RPMs, it generates a lot of torque with a gear reduction drive, and also it can run on avgas or on car gas. So we know Rotex has been very successful and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. If anything, it's getting bigger and better. Hey, if you like this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification button. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Catch you soon. Adios, amigos.